So we make millions of dollars from Facebook groups all for free. And what we found is that comments are the lifeblood of making money from Facebook groups. I want you to take a look at how many comments, how many leads, how many clients these posts are generating and recognize and realize that this is something we do literally every single week. So if you aren't getting comments, you aren't getting clients. It's as simple as that. In this video, I'm going to give you all my pro hacks for getting hundreds of comments on every single post you make to Facebook groups. In my opinion, once you know what to do, there's no excuse to not be getting hundreds of comments every single time you post. And so in other videos, we talked about how you can get clients from Facebook groups. We talked about how to make those freebies, how to use them. So we'll link to those. But today specifically, the video is all about getting more comments, essentially, getting more clients, right? Because I want you in your head to start thinking comments equal clients. The question really is why do some people's posts seem to totally flop and get crickets and other people's posts in the same group get hundreds of comments, right? And you may be feeling like I tried Facebook groups and it just didn't work for me, or I tried to make posts and I got crickets, or I had like one post do kind of well, and then the rest kind of sucked. Four things you need to tweak. These are my pro hacks of things that I teach my 100K Mastermind students, the things I teach my Get Clients Now students. These are my pro hacks that I share with you in order to get more comments, on Facebook groups. First thing that you need to pay attention to and monitor is you need to monitor the groups you're posting in. Is the group generally a dud? Do most posts have crickets? I can't tell you. I know it sounds like such a basic thing to start off with, but here's the thing. I feel like I constantly ask this question to my students and then they send me the groups that they're posting in. And I'm like, the average post has like three comments. So of course your posts have comments. You're posting in groups that are duds. So you need to be evaluating on a regular basis the quality of the group you're in. We're, we're, we'll be in a group and it's an amazing group for six months and then it just, and it stopped being a good, I like spit so much of that. Literally think I hit the lens, John. It did not. There's no way. Goodness gracious. That stuff was staying in the video. No. <laughs> so we'll be in a group and it'll be amazing and, and getting us tons of comments and doing amazing. And then six months later, just duds off. So then cool, you stop posting there. Don't get stuck on stupid. Be regularly evaluating the groups you're posting in and just scrolling through them to make sure that the groups you're posting in are actually getting comments. It's an engaged group. That's the first thing. Second thing is at the time that you're posting, right? really think about your ideal clients, okay? If your ideal clients aren't online when you're posting, why would you be posting at that time? Again, something that might seem obvious, yet a lot of people don't think about it. So I'll give you an example. Let's say that you work with parents and most parents around evening hours, they're off their phones typically, they're putting their kids down to bed, they're trying to have quality family time. They're not gonna be commenting. You'd be much better off posting in the afternoon, maybe when they're kind of at work scrolling through their phone. That would be a better time than like seven o'clock in the evening. The other thing you need to consider is time zone differences. If you are not US-based and most of your clients are in the US, you should be posting in US times, vice versa. If you're in the US, most of your clients are in the UK, you should be posting in UK times, right? All of this cumulatively adds up and is the difference between zero comments and 300 comments. So pay attention to the time that you're posting in these groups as well. Third thing, and this is the big one, okay? I've got a bunch of rules here, is the format of your posts. Most of you, timing is fine. You get the groups right. The reason why your posts are flopping when mine are rocking is because the way you're formatting. Don't use bolds or italics. So you know how you can like bold certain things in Facebook now? It's a new formatting thing they rolled out. I don't know what it is, but for whatever reason, whenever I bold it, Facebook engagement just tanks. So don't do bulls, don't do italics. Second thing, don't, for the love of God, do not put the link to whatever you're linking to in the actual Facebook post. From Facebook's perspective, your link is taking that user off their platform. So they're going to shove your post with a link in it at the bottom. That's why when you post links to things, it doesn't really get much engagement. You can link to it in the comments, that's fine, but don't have the link to whatever you're linking to in the actual post itself. Third thing, don't link to a random Canva graphic. 99 out of 100 times, linking to a random Canva graphic that has way too much text is not gonna get any engagement at all. Okay, so don't be linking to Canva graphics. Don't be posting Canva graphics at all. Do use an eye-catching image of yourself or a colored background. In my opinion, those like branded images where we're all like 
on our laptops smiling at Starbucks. I did those, we all did those, right? Those like branded ones. We'll put some of my old ones on the screen here. Those are kind of like overdone now, so I wouldn't do those, but there's a lot of cool things you can do, whether it's a kind of selfie, you in an interesting location, there's ways to create eye-catching imagery of yourself without it having to be the same old thing. What I've been loving is taking Polaroid photos with my iPhone, taking a picture of that Polaroid and sharing that. So that's super different. It's super eye-catching. It's just um, something to catch the attention of a user when they're scrolling through a group. Or you can use, if you don't want to use an image of yourself, you can use a colored background. We do that all the time. It works super well. We're going to be putting some examples up here. And then finally, do keep it short and succinct and right to the point um, and make it very clear what's in it for them. A lot of these posts are so fluffy that people don't bother to read them. They don't know what's in it, so they don't take the action you want them to get. Now, I'm going to give you some examples here. So I'm going to do three good examples and then two bad examples. So you see some ones of examples that look work really well, and then you see some examples of ones that like, broke my rules of what you shouldn't do. So first one here, super good example. Colored background, really short, explains exactly what you get. And notice, oh, Oh, does this have 587 comments? Yes, it does. Uh, this is actually one of my 100K Mastermind students. She shared it, simple background, tons of engagement, bam. This is uh, one of my colleagues, uh, you scroll in, 96 comments, works really well. Then here's some don'ts. This lady and I didn't, I didn't want, I blocked out their names so they didn't want to put anybody on blast. I just wanted to show you an example of what not to do. So it's just, when you know better, you can do better. It's not to put anybody on blast here at all. It's just to show how it worked. So she linked to an outside URL, Facebook was like, eh, I don't think we're going to show this to anybody. So it got two likes and two comments. Can't be linking to things in the actual post. Another don't uh, is all the weird formatting things. So like extra, extra um, bold, extra, it's just, extra, it's just weird. Like the bold, for whatever reason, totally kills the engagement. This is a cool offer that she's got, but it didn't get any engagement at all because of the formatting. So it's just a really to go to show you like it's the formatting thing that makes a huge difference. You have up to almost 600 comments versus on this one, like two, all because of a couple tweaks that we shared in this video. And the fourth, the fourth tweak that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to be paying attention to the words that you're using when you post. So this was enough of a thing that I wanted to make a whole bullet point on that. We did kind of briefly touch on this in the other one, but I wanted to make a whole dedicated bullet point specifically to the words you're using when you post to these Facebook groups. Couple things. Number one, you need to keep it short. We mentioned that in the last one from a formatting visual side of things, but you also need to keep it short because people aren't spending hours reading your content. What do they get? Keep it short. Second thing, keep it value focused. It's so much less about how great you are and so much more about what they're going to get when they comment or when they take the action you want them to take. Very clearly keeping and communicating the value of what you're giving them for free will greatly increase the, amount, the number of people that are commenting. Third thing, what we found is that random numbers work best. I'm gonna provide some examples here. Um, in fact, we'll just pull it up right now and do it. But $5,000 in just seven days on TikTok with no paid ads and no posting five times per day. So there's three random numbers, 5,000, seven, and five. I can't explain it. It's just when you put numbers in there, it works really well. Seven new clients in 14 days, five paid in full. This one, interestingly enough, didn't have a random number and had the least amount of comments of all three of my good examples. So it still did great. I'm not gonna complain about 96 comments, but I'm telling you, random numbers, work really well. So you can see all of these here are short and they keep the focus on what you're going to get. Now, the thing I want you to remember is that comments equals clients. So all these tweaks that we just talked about aren't me nitpicking because I think it should look a certain way. It's no, this is what's going to get you more comment. If you're feeling super overwhelmed and you just want somebody to simplify it and shortcut the process for me, don't worry, I've got you covered. I've actually put together what we call our Facebook group viral content. Right, so we created templates for you to use. It's literally just plug and play, fill in the blanks, and we created all of these pieces of content, really. They're like scripts, they're templates in order for you to use to create posts that are gonna go viral. So it's part of my social media jumbo kit. It's incredible. There's over 4,245 incredible pieces of content to help you go viral, specifically in Facebook groups. So if you want it, you can click the link in the description. It's just a couple dollars. It's super worth it, in my opinion. The time that you save, by not having to reinvent the wheel, to me, it makes this a no-brainer thing. So click the link below to snag it. 
So if you like this video, you wanna see more videos like this, you wanna see more pro hacks like this, click that like button. It lets us know that you like these kinds of videos and we'll make more like it. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos showing you how to grow on social media, how to make a bunch of money, and I'll see you in the next one.